going on everyone? We got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today we're discussing the brand new animated film the Grinch. I needed to tell you what the story of The Grinch is because I think all of us have read the Dr. Seuss novel at one point in time in our lives. The most important thing is this is 18 years after the Jim Carrey version. It's a brand new reimagining of that Grinch story. Benedict Cumberbatch doing the voice of the grumpy old Grinch this time around. And it, this is the one thing I can say about this movie is that I really didn't have much anticipation for this movie. I, I thought it looked cute and I thought the trailer was a little bit adorable too. But I just never was like, oh, okay, this is one of my most anticipated films of the year. But what I can say is The Grinch did a couple things for me. One, I wanted this film a little bit tired, grumpy at least, and just wanting to sleep. But I walked out, and just like The Grinch's heart, my heart grew with this film. I myself having a very charming time with this movie. And one of the biggest parts about that is not just because of the animation, which the animation is astounding. It is absolutely one of the best animated films of this year. Just in the animation category, when you look at the vibrant colors, when you look at the vibrant detail in each and every scene, it is outstanding what Illumination always builds up their game and steps it up with each and every feature that they do. And that's one thing I can always give to them and give major props to is the way and the attention to detail they do on every single scene. As much as I don't love all their films, that's the one thing I can give them. And the Grinch is like no bearer to bones with that. All the Miss Holly and all the jolly charming stuff all around the whole city of Whoville is beautiful. And the fur on the Grinch, I mean, it is, there's one scene where it's panning around he's on top of a hill looking down at Whoville and it is beautiful like literally one of the best shots of the year and that is saying a lot because considering we've had a ton of great films and a ton of great cinematography and a ton of great animation already this year it's one of the best and I was very impressed by that you're wrong the story in here is very cliche it's exactly what you think it's going to be if you've read the Dr. Seuss novel you know what this film's going to be and you know you know where it's going to go it's predictable but it's a great family feature film it's the perfect film to take your family to. The perfect film that adults can go into this film, enjoy it with their children, and their children aren't going to get antsy around the movie. They're going to enjoy it. They're going to laugh. They're going to have fun. And a lot of the humor is placed more towards children than adults, but there are still some good, enjoyable adult humor in here. I found myself laughing, and I found myself smiling. I never gut-bust laugh, but I was enjoying myself at the very least, and I think that's something that The Grinch did so well. It might have beautiful animation, but man, I enjoyed myself, and it made my heart grow. It was a very sweet and adorable film at times with Cindy Lou Who being just the adorable little Cindy Lou Who that we know who she is. The Grinch's little character arc that we do get in here is charming enough and it's also very sweet enough that it gets you into those vibrant vibes and of course I cannot forget to talk about the big standout character of this movie or might I say the small standout character and that is Max the adorable little dog now I have a little soft spot for little dogs in movies because I have two little dogs myself but Max steals a lot of the best moments in The Grinch and that's that's one of the things about this is you know exactly what The Grinch is going to be it's a charming little family feature film animation to it Benedict Cumberbatch nailed the voice of The Grinch and I loved it it took a little bit to get in there but once you start hearing it it just sounds perfectly and fluid throughout it the holiday feels and what I can say mostly about The Grinch is you could be the grumpiest person out there and you could go walk into this movie and your heart will grow just as big as The Grinch is by the end of the movie walk out smiling laughing and having a very weird fuzzy feeling down in your stomach so with all that said i'm gonna give the grinch a b really surprised by the grinch overall and i'm curious to hear your guys thoughts down below do you guys love the jim carrey version are you guys excited for this new version let's talk about it down below in the comments of course if you guys are new here hit up sandwich on films also down below because right down there we can give you guys into advanced movie screens like the grinch check out some movie news and even some movie reviews while you're here make sure to like and subscribe button so you guys never miss out on anything over on this channel but guys of course until next time stay classy <laughs>